sales event at George Chevrolet, you'll find hundreds of new Chevy models in stock, including Silverado, Blazer, Traverse, Equinox, and even... What it is, what it do, our dysfunctional family is coming through with another video for you. Yay, yay. Hey, you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and I hope you are having an amazing day. We are back at it. We are in need of a lot of things at home, you guys. I've been grocery shopping like little bits at a time instead of like one big bulk of it. And here we are again, suffering the consequences. So now I've got a lot of stuff to stock up on. And on top of that, Thanksgiving is coming. So I got to make sure that I have enough supplies, enough groceries, enough everything. Because the kids are going to be off a full week. And I got to make sure I have enough food and, you know, all that jazz. So anyways, uh, here we go. Give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel um let's go and i thought i was gonna get ahead of it and be like here early at the store but it's already seven so i know there's probably a lot of people here by now but <sighs> but let's get into wally world let's go and i really don't have a game plan as to where to start today but I know that I need a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start by getting uh, one of these onions and this is the three pound uh, bag of onions for $1.98. And I need one of these gala or gala apples for $4.68. Now these I usually buy at Aldi because they're like over a dollar in and change cheaper so but we are going to the beach so i just i'm gonna grab everything that i need here at walmart and it'll make things a lot easier so again this is a three pound bag for 4.68 and this is where they have all the pre-made goodies and the calzones and i'm always amazed of what they have like that's already ready to go they have sandwiches they got burritos they added calzones they didn't have these here and i love how good like how cute the little raspberry lemonades and regular lemonades it seems like they keep adding more stuff oh look at that mango lemonade which makes it convenient like they've got hot sandwiches that you could just pop in the microwave they even have these little hard-boiled eggs ready to go. Raspberry lemonade. We have some marked down salads. Cheeseburgers. Let me know, do you guys have this in your Walmart? Or is it like depending on what Walmart you, you are at? Because I swear, it seems like they just keep adding more and more. They even have these pre-made rolls. They've got wraps. Oh my goodness, soups. Yeah, this is definitely it, you guys. And then they have like a little dip center. They have all the salsas, all the dips, buffalo style chicken. I keep seeing stuff on my TikTok about this chicken dip. Comment down below if you guys have tried it because I'm really, I really wanna try it, but you know me, I will not try things unless you guys tell me that you guys have tried them and I know they're gonna be good. So let me know. Peppermint candy cane dip, what is this? Is this like, what are you supposed to dip with it? Like pretzels or something? Let me know if you guys have ever had any of these because bacon jalapeno popper. Oh my goodness. Why did I not look through all these before? Oh, this stuff sounds amazing. I've had their spinach dip before, and this is really good. I think I've had the bacon cheddar also, and that was really good. But they have, oh my gosh, triple cheddar. And then they have the hummus over here. We got some five-layer dip. Oh my goodness. Let's see what kind of hummus they have. They have roasted garlic, roasted red pepper, roasted red pepper, roasted garlic. Classic pine nuts, dark chocolate peppermint hummus. Have you guys ever tried this the sweet one? 
I am in shock. Pumpkin pie hummus, you guys? This is insane. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you guys have ever tried any of these and if they're any good and what you would pair it up with. Because I'm thinking like sweet, you probably wouldn't do with the pita bread or the naan. I'm thinking you'd probably do with like a pretzel or something. I don't know. Let me know. And then even their pizzas, it looks like they have more of a gourmet pizza. They have a chicken nacho recipe, pepperoni and mozzarella, chicken bacon ranch, but these are flatbreads. And then they have their regular pizzas that you just pop in the oven. Look at all the salads. They have crab salad, chicken salad, egg salad, coleslaw, seafood, shrimp salad. I don't know if I would trust something out of a package like that, but let me know if you guys have tried any of this stuff because I'm I'm amazed. Like I didn't know they had such a selection. Original, deviled egg, loaded. Oh my gosh, even macaroni salad. What is the difference between original and Amish? Pasta salad, macaroni deviled egg salad. Oh my goodness. And potato salads I have seen different kinds. I always go with the original loaded or deviled egg but oh my gosh they're really stepping up their game but see this always happens i always lose track of what i came for so i'm gonna focus and keep going now oh i just said i needed to focus i got sidetracked because i saw these christmas ice creams peppermint flavored cookies and cream ice cream oh my god that's how you know i'm hungry because everything looks good little debbie's ice cream that looks so good. They have holiday macarons, Christmas tree ice cream bars, chocolate ice cream, and white chocolate coating. Okay, I have to take some of those for the kids. And some of these gingerbread vanilla ice cream sandwiches. I'm gonna wait till the end to grab these though. I don't want them to melt. And all the goodies. I try not to buy a lot of this uh, baked stuff that's prepackaged because my kids love making goodies and I do too, so it kind of works out. Let me grab some of the stuff that I need. I think I, oh, where's the breakfast style? I think I passed it. Let me go back. Yes, here is the breakfast style. Oh, of course, they're all out of the potatoes that I wanted. I wanted to get the little hash brown looking things. Um, but I think for fries and taters, I'll wait till the end. I don't want them to melt up on me. Let me do that. And I want to get one of these big boxes of these chocolate chip waffles. It's a family pack of 24 and it's $5.98. Now you guys know me. I make my own pancake and waffle batter from scratch. But there's just something about these that the kids and I just love. They have all the tamales stuff out for the holidays. This uh, corn husk, it doesn't even tell you how much, but it tells you it's approximately a pound for $8.97. How much are the corn husks in your area? Let me know. And then they have the turkeys, $1.18 for, it looks like the butterball. I still haven't gotten ours. I guess I should grab one, huh? But I wonder if I can get it cheaper at Sam's Club, which I probably could. And depending on the meats that I can find at Sam's Club, I've been thinking I'm going to have to start buying my boneless, skinless breasts here. Because it seems like this would be a lot cheaper than just buying the regular chicken boneless, skinless chicken breasts at Sam's Club. Because here you get a, what is this, a five pound bag for 11.36 and at Sam's Club you get the fresh one for two dollars and 68 cents a pound right now so it just seems like this would be a little cheaper how cute they have disposable plates napkins they got everything for you guys if you guys need anything for Thanksgiving well not you guys me too <laughs> but they've got everything set up for Thanksgiving And I don't remember for what, but I do know that I need some peas and carrots. So I'm gonna grab a couple of, these are 84 cents for the 12 ounce. 
and we always do a spiral ham but I've gotten it at Sam's Club before so I'm after this I'm gonna head over to Sam's Club and I'm gonna price check on their stuff because it is a few weeks out and I don't want to miss out but these are the brown sugar double glazed uh, hickory glaze pack included and these are two dollars and 54 cents a pound so it seems like average is about 25 to 30 dollars for for the hams so i don't know i'm gonna price check at sam's just in case and i'm gonna take one of these smuckers goober the kids love using this on our sandwiches when we go to the beach or when we travel and this is an eight ounce for 347. And then I ordered these um, for delivery the other day and they were so good. So we are actually liking these for our salads. I'm gonna take a couple of these. It's the five ounces, cheese and garlic seasoned croutons. They're 98 cents each. I'm gonna do a Red Hot Frank's Original. I've been making our own Buffalo Ranch and this is what makes it happen, you guys. This is the 12 ounce for 326. And I need a Chipotle Cholula. If you guys haven't had this, if you like the original, you're gonna like this. It has a smokier flavor. This is 346 for the five ounce. And I do have to check on my spices. I have to check what I have at home because it's the season when I use a lot of the dried chili for the salsas or for the chile base for the pozole the tamales all that stuff so i gotta check to see what spices i need but usually for sure i use basilla i use guajillo and i don't know if they have california but i also use california so and I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these Velveetas. This is the 32 ounce, so this is the two pound for $7.98. And I'm gonna get some of these because we need these for Thanksgiving. I bought some last month, guys, and we ended up chomping them up. We ate them, so I gotta get some more of these. And I mixed the roasted garlic with the butter herb. Yeah, so. And the family size is $2.48. And then the regular one is $1.28. And the kids love, 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 love sprinkles. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of these holiday sprinkle mixes. And hopefully it's got some of the little cute peppermints in it. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. So this is the 10.58 ounce for $3.47. And I'm also gonna get one of these little candy cane hot cocoa mixes. This is $3.47 for the 10 ounce. And I'm gonna grab a couple of these Funfetti cake box mixes now because whenever I want them, they're gonna be all gone. These are $1.74. And I'm gonna grab one of these beer can chickens. I love roasting chicken in the oven with this seasoning or grilling outside, you guys. This is so good. And this is the 5.5 ounce for $4.36. I'm gonna grab one of these S'mores Jet Puffed Marshmallows and this is $2.48, I believe. And we like these because they're already flat. So it just makes it that much easier to put it in the, to put it on the s'more. And I'm going to take two of these sweetened condensed milks. I love these because they have the pop top. These are $1.94 each. One of these semi sweet mini morsels. We like the mini ones. And Usually the 12 ounce bag is 262, but this is the 20 ounce bag. I can't, I don't see the price on this. And I'm also doing a peanut butter chips for 247. And I'm gonna do a few of these, well, a couple of these chocolate supreme pre-made brownie mixes, and these are 314 each. 
And I'm gonna get one of these big Wesson vegetable oils. The gallon is 10.38. And I'm gonna take like 10 of these mandarins in water. Um, I was, originally I started using these just to have, just in case we couldn't find fresh fruit or anything like that, we'd have some of this. But the kids started eating it and everybody loves them with some tahini on top or some chile limon. You drain them, put them on a plate, sprinkle it with the tahini or the chile limon, and these are so good as a little snack too. So I'm gonna take like 10 of these babies. Same thing with these mango slices, but these mango slices are in heavy syrup. So what we've been doing is we pop it open, we put some bottled water in here, we rinse out the slices, and then you could have it as a snack. You could also have it in the syrup, we just, prefer not to we like to make it so it's as close to a fresh mango as possible so I'm gonna take a few of these too Then I'm gonna take some pineapple chunks and some pineapple slices. And I'm gonna also do some crushed pineapple because we do that on, actually tidbits, because that's the one we do on pizzas and stuff. Okay, so stocked up on pineapple, mangoes, and mandarins. I'm gonna take one of these cremas. I'm always looking for it last minute, so this time I'm glad I saw it. That way I'm ready to go. And this is the 15 ounce. 368 and this goes good whatever you put sour cream on you could put this on and it looks like the pie crusts might be yeah they might be on a little roll back so I'm gonna take one of these I don't really need it but just in case and I am gonna do like four of these original crescent dough sheets because this is what we make the cheesecakes with uh, like the churro cheesecake and all that so I need a few of these these are 324 each and butter is really weird right now for some reason they haven't restocked it at Sam's Club so I'm gonna have to get these and these are the unsalted it's 448 for one but I'm gonna take like four of these and that's what I would probably buy from Sam's Club so it is a little pricier but it's we can't find it there so I'll just get it here and I'm gonna get one of these strawberry Great value yogurts. These are 236. And they actually have our milk. They usually don't, so I'm excited that they do today. I'm gonna take two of these for 738. And they also have Starbucks, guys. They have cold brew, which is better than usually. Uh, usually we find everything's wiped out and we end up having to get the stoke, which we do like, but this is what we prefer. And I'm gonna take one of these extra creamy whipped creams. We use this on the coffee and sometimes pancakes if I don't make my own and stuff. So this is $2.94 for the 13 ounce. I have been searching high and low to find a nut pods that is already sweetened, you guys. I found cookie butter. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried these. But the ones that are sweetened, this is the first time I ever find one. I'm excited to try this one. And before I forget, I had to come back to the candy because we're making s'mores. So we make them with the Reese's, Reese's, the regular Hershey, but I don't see it. I found the snack size, so I'm gonna have to do two of these. And I'm gonna take one of these Funfetti. I know I already took the blue, but I'm gonna take some of these. $1.74, you guys. And these are the oh, I'm gonna pick this up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. These, you guys, if you have not tried the bolitas by Cheetos, these are so good. These are less spicier than these, but they have such good flavor, so try these. I'm gonna take two of these. $2.98 each. And I'm gonna take this family size for the s'mores. 
This is a one pound, 9.6 ounce for 547. I'm also gonna take this Marias for 218. It comes with four packs in it. And I was not gonna do individual chips, but they do have this variety pack with all the flaming hot chips. And the kids are gonna love these at the beach. So I'm gonna do one of these. And I'm also gonna do one of these because the kids love these and these and these. And mama loves those, so. And I'm gonna take one of these barbecue Pringles for the kids. This is 196. Cute little penguin. And I'm also gonna do a regular one. Cute little Santa. And I'm gonna take one of these kettle corn, 18 bags, pantry pack for $6.98. This usually lasts us more than a month, but I like having back stock on these because we always have movie nights and stuff, so. And I'm gonna take one of these Tropical Punch Kool-Aid Burst for the beach. This is a six pack for $1.24. Yes, and they finally have the big drinks. I had been uh, coming by and they always had the grape or the other, but they have the strawberry watermelon. This is the kid's favorite, and this is what we make the pitchers with. So I'm gonna take, um, this comes with six packets to make six pitchers for 216. I'm gonna take like five of these. I also want to try one of these. I'm going to do a tropical mango punch. And these are the individual packs that you put in the water bottles. And I'm also going to do a strawberry mango. And these are $1.94 each. And I'm going to take a couple of these 12 packs. These are strawberry um, seltzer waters for $4.34. I'm going to grab one of these plates. These are 220 something, but it says 348. So I'm gonna do one of these disposable plates. And I'm gonna grab one of these family napkins. It's the 500 count for 332. And I'm gonna grab two of these paper towels. These are the two ply, 288 or 88 count, 68 cents. All right, you guys, I saw the cutest little pants that I couldn't resist for Kehlani. Uh, these would be uniforms because she uses uniforms. And then I grabbed some firewood for the s'mores because we're getting a fire pit at the beach. So I'm hoping that this kind will be easy to just lighten and stuff. So, all right, you guys, so go ahead and put in your bids and see what you think the total of my whole haul was. So I'm just gonna do a quick little spin so you guys can see and put them in now because I'm about to go check out. And they already have a lot of Black Friday deals, you guys. So check out your Walmarts. If you are already looking for deals and stuff, look at all these game boards that are $6. And then look, they have this LOL color change stuff, like the set that is 70. And it's like original, like close to 100. So bam. Well, they definitely do are starting to roll out the deals, like with the toys and all that. So I would start looking if I was, if you guys are looking for presents, or if you have a big family, I would definitely start looking online at Walmart to see what stuff is coming out for the Black Friday deals because they're rolling out new deals like every Monday or something like that. I like this because it's long sleeve and it covers my but This is cute and they have it in red and black. I gotta just stop. Let me just get in line before it gets crazy in here. 